This is a new concert string tool that I invented. It's got a side notch which can be used to pull a string straight as well as a front notch which can be used for several different purposes including lifting the strings in the capo section, pressing them down in the agraph section, or seating them on the front and rear duplex. This is the way the concert string tool works when you're straightening strings at the bridge. We use the side notch to pull the strings forward. And the front notch to seat them on the rear bridge pin by pushing them. And that's the way it works. This is a brand new type of uh, string seating punch. Again, I got the idea from the Fazioli factory. There's a hole drilled in the center, and half of the outside is ground away, so you have a semicircle. And what it allows you to do is to tap both in the speaking length and on the bridge at the same time. And then we reverse it. After straightening the strings and seating them on the bridge, we're going to use a brass drift to settle them down on the duplex. Do all of the strings, and then we're going to do the front duplex. After seating the back duplex, we just go up to the front and we do the same thing, pressing them down. This guarantees good termination on the duplex and gets the energy back into the soundboard where it belongs. You'll notice that we've put a level in the key bed and I've actually raised one of the front legs of the piano so that our level is, the bubble is centered in the level. So I know that the piano is absolutely level, um, as level as we can get it. Traditionally, we use a brass drift and a string hook to lift or press down on the strings, lifting the strings and pressing down. But it means switching tools. This is a tool that I just invented. It does two jobs at once. It has a string hook on one end and a little drift on the other for pressing down on the string. So I, now instead of having two tools, I can do it all with one. Let's see if we can level a couple of bass strings here. Ideally, the level is placed at the strike point uh, where the hammer hits the string. It's very important, especially on the diagonal strings, that you keep the level in a plane parallel to the damper guide rail as opposed to a right angle to the string. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to lift the left string because right now we can see the bubble is touching the right limit line. I will be lifting the left string with my string hook and trying to bring the bubble into the center. It's much easier to do it two or three times than to have to push it back down. The third time I got it. Now let's move on to the next string. Same thing. The bubble is over on the right. These strings have already been pre-straightened. I can demonstrate that technique up here at the A-graph. I'm not lifting the string. I'm straightening it. I'm just very light pressure. You can hardly see it moving. The lifting occurs when we do the actual leveling here. Now I'm going to level this unison too. It's the same thing. I'll be lifting the left string and trying to bring the bubble into the center. And that did it. Again, we're going to position the level so that it's parallel to the damper guide rail at the hammer strike point. And 
I'm going to lightly straighten the strings at the A graph before I level them. I'm just very gently straightening each one of the strings for good termination. Now again, we see that the bubble is over to the extreme right side of the level. I'm going to have to really lift this left string to get the bubble centered. The idea is you get the two outside strings to center the bubble and you bring the center string up to meet them. So I'm going to start by lifting the left string, which I just did, and I got the bubble centered. Now if we listen carefully, I got lucky. I got all three. If the center string wasn't shut off, which it is, I would have to lift it up. Let's do the next one. Okay, I'm going to lightly lift these strings, straighten them out, just terminate them in the A graph. And now we have the opposite problem. The bubble is way over to the left on these strings, so I'm going to start by lifting the right string. Try to get that bubble centered. That's better. Just one more. Now the bubble is centered, and I'm going to pluck the outside strings and the center string. Ah, we have to lift the center string. It's a little better. That's got it. All right, let's move on to the low treble. When you're doing the two treble sections, um, I use the long brass drift because there's no lifting done in these two areas. It's pressed up from underneath the capo bar. So again, I've got the level situated parallel to the damper guide rail, and the bubble is off center. We're first going to straighten the strings by lightly pushing up on the bottom of the string. You can see the level move. It doesn't change position. Now just by straightening the strings, I vastly improve the position of the bubble. It's still over to the left, so I'm going to have to lift the right string just a little bit more. And now it's centered. Let's see what it sounds like. All three. That's all there is to it. You notice the level didn't move at all. The magnet keeps it in place. I'm going to show a picture of the magnet here. <laughs>